Day one here at Tropic Star in Panama. I'm here with Richard, the fishing manager. And uh, our goal today is to see what the ocean gives us. We're gonna try for black marlin, big cubera snappers, dorado, sailfish, whatever she gives us, right? Yep, the ocean will provide, that I can promise. I like it. Let's see, get some bait first. Let's get it done. Yeah, just leave it in the rod holder and crank her in. Oh, that's a nice little guy. So what we're doing right now is we're just getting some fresh bait for the tuna tubes. Right there, we got to see those tuna tubes right here, guys. Put the tube, you put the bonita right in the tube. That keeps them alive. I got, I got two of them on here. That's why. Jeez. Boom. So these tuna tubes are here, guys. This is what's going to keep our bait alive right here. There's water flushing vertical on these tubes, okay? And they're going to keep water going through the gills of the bonita. And we're going to live bait these bonita. We're going to see what we can get. That's a beautiful bait. That's a great bait. Look at, the, look at that, perfect condition. Oh yeah. There we go. There's your black marlin bait right there. Oh yeah. All right, we're rigging up a live bait right now. And a big old, oh my goodness. They're excited. They're ready, here we go. We're gonna use a needle, artificial needle right through the eye. Come back on the hook and we're gonna wrap it. He's done this a few times. Okay, so we have the Zangre Reef, and it's pretty much three pinnacles out here, and it's full of life. You got everything from Almaco, Jack, Scabera, Snapper, Black Marlin, Sharks, Manta Rays, Grouper, everything living in this area. So we got some Bonita up on the surface, but where a lot of the magic happens is down deep. It's between 300 all the way up to 90 feet. We got a nice size Bonita now on a downrigger. We put it down about 150 feet, and because the angle in the line, she's sitting at only about 75 feet below us. We're gonna go away, make our way around the pinnacles. And as soon as that rubber band pops, you'll see the tip of that rod changes. We're gonna feed that fish for a couple of seconds, two, three seconds, engage the drag, and from there we hooked up. Like Hopefully you're gonna get a nice big Kubera snap or possibly even a big Almaco jack. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, don't give it too long. He ate it. Eat it. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Zangre Reef, baby! <laughs> Let me know if you need a belly gimbal or anything. I would like one, actually. Yeah. How's that feel? A little better. Less painful. Here we go. Leader. Hey, we got the rubber band. You're up. Oh! Wow, look at that. It's my first ever Cubera. Wow, look at that, guys. That's my first ever Cubera snapper. This is actually the largest snapper species. Look at those teeth, guys. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> look at those chompers. Look at him looking at you. He's, look, at, look at his eye, look at his eyeball. He's staring around, he's looking at me. He's like, hey, what you doing there, buddy? I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you. Let's release her. Nice seeing ya. There she goes. Woo! First Cubera, bro. Woo! I could, I could get used to that. <laughs> And it didn't take too long, did it? No, no, we See? need to get our bait down now. Stay there, okay. Beautiful. One of the biggest mistakes that blue water anglers make is they always try and put baits really far from the boat. Yeah. The boat actually attracts the fish. Yeah. So if you think about it, everyone's like, oh, I need a quiet engine, no. If you look at a bait ball, all a bait ball is is a dark mass with a lot of vibration and white water. Yeah. Fish don't hear sound the same way we do. They hear it through a lateral line, which is purely vibration. So a boat is just a dark shape with white water and a lot of vibration. So all your boat does is call fish towards it. That's why you hear some people say, well, how's the cadence of the boat? Because what that means is the vibrations and all of that doesn't attract fish. Yeah. And some boats attract more fish than others. It's just a fact. It's, yeah, it is. So the cadence is just the vibration that it's letting off in the water. So you'll get a cadence from a jerk bait and the way it yeah. follows like that. Like bass fishermen, they talk about the cadence of the different, the willow leaf or the Colorado leaf on a spinnerbait. Yeah. And that's just the vibration that something is letting off in the water. There we go. Got him. This is a bigger fish. <laughs> I see him down there. Oh, he's big. He is big. Oh, That's he's big. Probably a reef donkey. So now, no, it's a Kibera, man. That's a Kibera. Look at that fish. That is a beast. Oh, 
<laughs> now that's a Quebec snapper. <laughs> Dude, you know what's crazy? How old is this fish? What, 20, 25 years old? Yeah, at least 20 years old. They're very, very slow growing. One of the slowest growing fishes, in fact. Wow. What a beautiful fish. That thing's insane. There we go. Let's let her go. See, baby. Dude. There you go. That's how you release a Kibera, baby. That is sick, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two Kiberas. Were they around the, that one looked a little bigger. That was a bit bigger, yeah. Definitely. And those things can get over 100 pounds. I can't imagine. Can you imagine a 100 pound Kibera? I'd cry. Yeah, that pad, that's a big old paddle tail. That thing's got a big propeller. Yeah, he's going to kick your butt. <laughs> a Kibera snapper is obviously a snapper, right? And everybody loves yeah. a snapper. You guys don't encourage killing them here. You yes, want to talk uh, more about that? 100%. So, snapper, as you said, is one of the best eating fish. Kibera snapper, in my point of view, are right at the top of that list. They taste like lobster. Really? But the problem is they're extremely slow growing fish. They only grow between half a pound to two pounds a year. Yeah. So the fish you just released, those are a minimum of 25, 30 years old. They could be upwards of 50 years old. And so we have a very healthy fishery of them. Here, as you can tell, we get a lot of them. We get really big ones. And so we release 100% of our Kibera snapper. You know what? I wish more people did that because they're such a cool fish. They are. They're, you know what? It's so powerful. That first run, that hits and just the way they're trying it back in the rocks, yeah. a lot of people lose them, have no idea what they lost. And nine times out of 10, it's something big and beautiful just like that. That's a fish, right? Set it, set it, set it. The heck, where is he? Can you not pop out? Bring it up. I felt something grab him. Oh man, we just missed. That, dude, that was a big fish. That was a big fish, man. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when we kingfish fish and wahoo fish with live baits, we put a stinger on there, right? A yes. treble hook. Yeah, nice big old treble right at the back of the fish. So, if we, I mean, you guys ever try that here? Well, you see, right now we're releasing these Kibera snapper. So, yeah. yes, for a kingfish wahoo, it makes absolute sense. But these big old Kibera, if they come up and eat that and swallow that treble hook. Yeah, they're done. They're done, we're gonna kill them. And so, yes, a treble hook, you'll definitely hook far more of them but you are going to kill far more as well. And our number one priority here is keep the fishery healthy and catch fish at the same time. Yeah. All right, Rich is hooked up. It's a really big one. It's got a bit of weight to it. Did he get you in the rocks? Yep, unfortunately, oh, he ran goes. down back into the rocks. A lot of people say, well, that's pretty big tackle for those snapper and Almaco jacks. But even with a 50 at strike, that's 15 pounds of drag. She just did what she wanted with me. So we're going to move around this rock pile a bit, see if we can get that fish on out of there. That's exactly what those big Kubera do. you got to stop them quickly. And as you saw, we, we put the brakes on that fish really quickly, but when it's a big one like that, there's not much that can stop them. That sucks. That sucks. It happens, but it sucks. And we're rocked up. There we go. It's still on there. It's still on there, dude. Hey, hey, it's hey. It's still on there. Real, real, real. It's out. It's out. The fish is out. The fish is out. <laughs> Either that or we got a giant piece of seaweed that's exciting. That's not a seaweed. No, that ain't a seaweed. That's a seaweed, bro. I want to see it. See color, I see color. Here we go. Almaco. Almaco, where the was he? That's good eating right there. Ooh, nice Almaco. Yeah, he was in the rocks. Oh, yeah. There you I can don't know see. what fights hotter, him or the Cubera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those well, you things can are see the, You can see these marks here. She definitely went into the rocks. So it goes by a different name. It's an Almaco Jack, not an Amber Jack. Excellent eating. Uh, That's thinner but tonight. Definitely still a reef donkey. Fish, fish, fish. One of them down there is hungry. There we go. Here we go. This is a really good one. How many times today has John said this is a good one? They're all good, but this <laughs> one's really good. The great thing is there's so many big species here, you have no idea what this could be. There's literally like five species it could be. There it is. I think it's a Kibera, big Kibera. Oh man, that's 40 pounder. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's a big that's one, over dude. 40 pounds. That's a 40 pounder. Look at the size of that snapper. <laughs> that's the biggest snapper I've ever caught. Giant Cubera. What a monster here at Tropic Star. Wow. Let's release her. 
There she goes. Wow, dude, that is crazy. <laughs> Tropic star, guys, giant Kiberas. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, so Josh, you're out of bait, bro. The Kibera, guys, was caught on the last bait of the day, which makes it even more special. Hey. Because that's it. the fish we were looking for today. We got it and, and we, we got, got it, it in shore. What an incredible experience it was to go to Tropic Star. This place is legendary. So many world records, so many amazing fish have been caught here. If you guys want to go on an awesome fishing trip, this is one of the places you have to visit in your life. You're fishing by mountains, you're in the rainforest. The resort is absolutely stunning. Great place for your family and the fishing is out of this world. Catching those Kibera snappers was a dream of mine and we fulfilled it at Tropic Star, guys. So please go check them out, Tropic Star. The links are in the description. Go to their website or their Instagram page. Tell them Black Tip Bay sent you there and go and book yourself a trip of a lifetime, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you wanna see our most recent video, click right here. If you wanna subscribe, click right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.